The planet Mercury passed between the Sun and the Earth on Monday. RIT says this celestial alignment typically only happens about once every decade. Tom Warner Cable News reporter Wendy Mills explains. Photometry we do to measure light curves on variable stars. and Leo uh, Kellett calls himself an amateur astronomer, but this guy knows plenty about the solar system. He's one of many pointing a telescope at the sun today to see the transit of Mercury. It's not a very common occurrence, no. Only about 13 times a century do the orbits align to see Mercury pass between the Earth and the sun. It's actually positioned well for us to be able to see it go in front of the sun or quite far apart. RIT's observatory welcomed anyone interested in taking a look. So this is one of the rare occasions when seeing Mercury is actually pretty easy if you, you have the right equipment. You shouldn't look at the sun with your naked eye. Come here, we have special telescopes set up so you can see it safely. Scientists use celestial events like this to determine a planet's size, orbit, and get clues on the planet's ability to support life. But it is a little round dot. When you look at Mercury, you get a feeling, a real gut feeling of, wow, that's a teeny tiny fraction that's being covered. That's a that fireball in the sky. Right? It is, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is cool. If you missed Mercury today, the next Mercury transit is in 2019 and again after 2032. RIT's observatory helps make astronomical events like this accessible. Wendy Mills, Time Warner Cable News.